Good morning and greetings from the Mount of Remembrance in Jerusalem. My name is Birte Hevera and I'm working for the German speaking country section of the International School for Holocaust Studies in Yad Vashem. It's my pleasure to open today's ceremony in which we will sign the agreement between the University of Cologne and Yad Vashem. I am very honored to welcome NRW's Minister of Culture and Science, Isabel pfeiffer Pönsken. Professor Dr. Axel Freimuth, Rector of the University of Cologne, Dr. Michael Stückrath, Chancellor of the University of Cologne, Abraham Lehrer, Vice Chairman of the, of the Central Council of Jews in Germany and the Community of the Synagogues of Cologne, Dr. Eyal Kaminka, Director of the International School for Holocaust Studies, Yad Vashem, Ruth Uhr, Director of German-speaking German countries in Switzerland, Desk of Yad Vashem's International Relations Division. I'd furthermore like to extend a warm welcome to Bernd Fecke from the NRW Staatskanzlei, to our new partners and friends from the University of Cologne, Professor Dr. Beatrix Busse, Professor Dr. Heinz-Peter Mansel, Dr. Stefan Bildhauer, Dr. Gesine Bösken, Jürgen Rees, Lisa Lemke and Emil Platte. Welcome also to Silke Kagel and Laura Franke from the project School is Open, who have worked with us for a long while to make this agreement possible. And welcome to my colleagues from Yad Vashem, Richel Bat Kaplan, Dr. Noah Mekaiton, and Jona Kobo. Last but not least, welcome to Merle Hettesheimer and Juliane Struck from the University of Cologne, and to Susan Weisberg and Simi Allen from Yad Vashem, who worked a lot with us behind the scenes to prepare the ceremony. The German-speaking country section of Yad Vashem's International School for Holocaust Studies has developed working relations with all of the 16 states of Germany, with Austria and Switzerland. And our projects include working with teachers, journalists, judges, police officers, as well as university students. The University of Cologne will be the first university in NRW that we formalize an agreement with. Over the last three years, we had the pleasure to work with groups from this institution, and we are pleased that we will now have an official framework for our future cooperation. Just one technicality, Juliana will switch on your microphones when it's your turn to speak, so you just need to confirm this on your device. I now would like to invite Dr. Eyal Kaminka, director of Yad Vashem's International School for Holocaust Studies, to say a few greeting words. Eyal, please. Good morning and uh, greetings from Israel. It is an honor to be with you today, especially in the presence of the Minister of Culture and Science. We send you warm wishes for your well-being and good health. Since 1953, Yad Vashem has dedicated itself to Holocaust remembrance, documentation, research, and education. Yad Vashem's International School for Holocaust Studies designs programming and develops resources for pupils, university students, educators, and lifelong learners in many languages here in Jerusalem and also online. As part of our educational approach, we focus on the tapestry of the Jewish life before the war, how they responded to the persecution and extermination of Nazi Germany and their collaborators, and the dilemmas the surviving remnant faced in the aftermath of the Holocaust. During study days, workshops, and seminars, we seek to raise challenging questions. We also need to be good listeners. This week, we commemorate the events that occurred in the German Reich during the, this uh, fateful year, 82 years ago. 75 years after the end of the Second World War, the Holocaust remains significant to our global society. In the face of a rise in antisemitism around the world, the Holocaust is a reminder to all nations, communities, and citizens, now and in the future, but what can happen when hatred and bigotry are not opposed? 
we are pleased to be developing a fruitful working relations, relationship between the University of Cologne and Yad Vashem. Together, may we strive to create a better, safer, and more ethical world. We appreciate the work of the University of Cologne to further the study of the Holocaust and anti-Semitism, such as their innovative School is Open project. On behalf of Yad Vashem, I would like to thank the Minister of all the and all the staff of the University of Cologne, especially Dr. Freymuth, and our Yad Vashem colleagues for their efforts to coordinate this event as well as for their strong commitment to Holocaust education. We look forward to the day when we will be able to welcome you back to our educational campus. Thank you, and may our cooperation continue to flourish. Thank you very much, Eyal. I now would kindly, kindly invite Professor Axel Freimuth, Rector of the University of Cologne, to speak. Please, Professor Freimuth. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and friends, it is my great honor and pleasure to speak here at this signing cer uh, ceremony today. I take the opportunity to send official greetings from Cologne to Yad Vashem and to all listeners and guests. And I also thank the organizers who made this online format possible, in particular, Birte Hibera uh, as master of ceremony. The University of Cologne maintains numerous cooperations with renowned scientific institutions all over the world, but this one stands out. It is the first cooperation with an educational institution to commemorate the Shoah. This is important for us, highly important for us, and in particular because our university is very active in the field of teachers' education. Our Center for Teacher Education is one of the largest in Europe and currently educates about 15,000 students in all areas of teacher education. This makes the cooperation uh, an elementary part of the education of teachers at our university and in our fight against anti-Semitism. The signing of this cooperation agreement is without a question historic for the University of Cologne. At the same time, it also represents the continuation of a path that is the investigation of the Nazi part, a path within our institution. For example, last year, an international research group investigated the personal, institutional, and material ties to the Nazi regime that existed at the University of Cologne between 1933 and 1955 and beyond. The research brought to light that some high dignitaries were able to make an undisturbed career at our university. We thus understand the importance of knowing our own history and moreover, the importance of the envisioned cooperation with Yad Vashem that will enable us to get access to the stories of the Holocaust. Our cooperation will foster the exchange of scholarly ideas. It will spur the advancement of knowledge and it will contribute to the remembrance of the past. Our cooperation is thus an outstanding milestone um, with, uh, regarding our common responsibility to promote the values of an inclusive and democratic society. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Professor Freimuth, for this inspiring address. It's my honor to now give the floor to NRW's Minister of Culture and Science, Isabel pfeiffer pönsken Please. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2014, the state of North Rhine-Westphalia has signed a cooperation agreement with Yad Vashem that has been renewed last year. The cooperation with Yad Vashem is of high importance for us because remembering the Holocaust is a central part of the Germany's political identity. An active culture of remembrance depends on a broad particip participation of people. A key to achieve this is to engage people who, in their respective functions, can work as multipliers. Therefore, it is of special value when future teachers learn more about the Holocaust and ways to remember the Holocaust. In this way, 
they gain experience and knowledge that they can later use in their educational work with pupils who have very different backgrounds. This makes the cooperation agreement between Yad Vashem and the University of Cologne so important. How great would it have been to sign it in presence? I'm pleased that with the agreement, uh, 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 the University of Cologne is a pioneer among uh, the universities in our state, North Rhine-Westphalia. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Minister Pfeiffer Penskin, for acknowledging the significance of this cooperation by joining us today and contributing these words. Professor Freimuth and Dr. Kaminka will now sign the agreement. Juliane will turn on your microphones. You're all invited to celebrate this moment with a round of applause. And now please sign the documents, uh, Eyal and Professor Freimuth. <laughs> can you please hold the signed agreements into the camera so that we can take a few I, pictures? I don't think it shows. I don't think it shows in the background, but it's it's uh, signed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can put it near to the camera, Eyal. Yes, Eyal, please try hold, hold it up towards the camera. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. No. <laughs> okay. It's a question. It's a question of lighting. You see this know. one from the back door. Okay. Okay. So in a moment, Juliana will turn off all the other cameras except of Professor Freimuth and Dr. Kaminka so that, that we can take pictures only of the two of you with the documents as much as we can see them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one second, I will let you know. <clears throat> We, we could try a virtual handshake. Okay. <laughs> so, let's do it like this. At least uh, yeah, the document can be seen now. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to play around with the lightning. So Keep holding it uh, into the camera for a few more moments so that there's enough time to take pictures. All right. Okay, I think this should be all right. Let us wait until everybody's back with their cameras. You might have to confirm on your device to switch back, uh, to switch on your camera. Who would have imagined that we'll sign agreements like that? Very, very strange world. <laughs> That's the days we are, yeah. the world we're living in now. Okay, thank you very much for this uh, uh, official part and, and festive part of this ceremony. Thank you very much, Professor thank Freim. Much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kaminka. I would now like to hand over to Professor Busse, Vice Rector for Studies and Teaching of the University of Cologne to give her a greeting speech. Please, Professor Busse. Yes, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what has just been declared in this moving important ceremony could not be more relevant. 82 years after the atrocious acts of the Nazi regime against humanity and the Jewish people, 
In times of nations divided, severe populism, terrorist attacks against Jews, racism and a pandemic, we stand here to celebrate the signing of this significant cooperation agreement between Yad Vashem and the University of Cologne in the context of commemorating the November pogrom. This agreement fills me with joy. Yad Vashem and its important work in commemoration and building bridges are outstanding, and so is this cooperation. It is a sign of how we as Germans and a German university take on our responsibility and our obligation to always remember one of the darkest chapters of Germans, Germany's past. And it is at the same time a sign of how we are moving forward together and are obliged to use it and are obliged to use it as what Alida Asman has called cultural memory, to safeguard, to protect and practice every day again and again with courage, honesty, joy and a firm belief in humanity to practice democracy, human rights, diversity, equity, plurality, and the freedom of religion as some of the core principles of human interaction and existence. The cooperation agreement also fills me with joy because it is dedicated to teacher students, that is future teachers, who I think are among the central cornerstones of both our society and of the, as we've heard, research, education, and professionalization processes pursued in teacher education at the University of Cologne. For me, the profession of the teacher is among the avant-garde professions of our digital knowledge and competence society, and also crucial for contributing to finding solutions to what we are experiencing at the moment. In other words, and as we have seen it again in the past, educating and training future teachers deserves maximum attention. We have to use this momentum in the way we do it here with this cooperation agreement because the profession is about people creating our future. And on the basis of the different and integrated disciplinary knowledge and skills and a pedagogical ethos, the prof profession is always a matter of courageously deciding with the aim of promoting personalities and cultural understanding. This requires an awareness of the change in educational goals and social change and the willingness to deal with risk and uncertainty. It also requires the knowledge of scientific developments, understanding that research findings will always be subject to continuous re-verification, the ability to differentiate fact from fiction, reflection of contents and learning path, which cannot simply be handed down. It is also about continuous dialogue, or as Buber phrased it, a person only becomes a self through encountering the other. The students we train will have to be excellent communicators, interested in and stand up for people. people. They will have to be international mentors, intercultural, interreligious, multilingual ambassadors and trainers. Hence, students' travels and their international experience, as envisaged here, are so significant. And more, I see the examination of the individual stories of Jews as one important contribution to inclusive and democratic education about the Shoah and a necessary prerequisite to fight against anti-Semitism. And again, it is about cultural memory and the German obligation to always remember, listen to stories and people and the Jewish culture. Therefore, as vice rector for teaching and studies at the University of Cologne and as an adamant promoter of teacher education, I would like to thank all of those involved for their commitment to such an enormously important project, especially also on behalf of the student teachers at our university. And finally, it is with humility and pride that I would like to congratulate you all on this cooperation agreement between Yad Vashem and the University of Cologne. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Wusse, for this really kind address. As a student representative, Emil Platte will now share a few impressions from a study day in Yad Vashem that she took part in. Please, Mrs. Platte. Thank you. It had long my dream to fly to Israel and see with my own eyes the country I had read and heard so much about. 
And during the Cologne Winter School 2019 by Schoolless Open, I had the opportunity to collect many different impressions. The deepest impression was left by our two day visit at Yad Vashem. My parents had taught me a lot about the history of the Nazi crimes against the Jews at an early age. Thus the history from the perspective of the perpetrators was known to me for a long time. At Yad Vashem, I was taught a new approach of this history by focusing on Jewish perspectives before, during, and after the Shoah. Through studying individual biographies, I became newly aware of the fates of this history <clears throat> and learned previously unknown aspects of the extent and the horror of these crimes which touched me deeply. The experience at Yad Vashem gave me the impetus to delve deeper into the history of my own family, specifically what did my grandparents and great-grandparents do during the war. For my future teaching profession, I take the impulse to include the Holocaust in school, not only from the perspectives of the perpetrators, but especially from perspectives to heart. Biography work in the classroom enables the students to engage with our history on multiple empathetic and cognitive levels. In this way, the victim of the Shoah can be remembered worthily. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Platte, for sharing these impressions with us. I would like to hand over now to Silke Kage from the project School is Open, who has also put a lot of thoughts and effort into this cooperation. Silke, please. Thank you very much, Birte. The success of our work depends fully on students like Aimé who dare to engage in learning about the Holocaust with their emotion and reason. As educators, we must pro provide a part participative, appreciative learning space where people can be different without fear. This increases the chances that future teachers can learn cognitive empathy. Yad Vashem is such an appreciative space which invites us people to say who we are, where we came from, and how we envision a dignified and democratic future for all. In our concrete practice, students in teacher training have dealt with stories of students of the University of Cologne during the Nazi era. One of these life stories is that of Dr. Lilian, who was one of the first women to receive the PhD in Cologne. She was murdered in Auschwitz. Her five children survived. In her biography, My Wounded Heart, written by her grandson, it is reported how SA <clears throat> henchmen broke the window in the evening of November 9. Whew. The children could not go to school the next day. The apartment of Lily's mother was totally destroyed. Through the openness of Lily's grandchildren, with whom the students were able to talk, they understand what it meant for the family that Lily was gone. In the mirror of these memories, the non-Jewish students are increasingly willing to explore the emotional ties and the role their own family played as bystanders, confidants, or perpetrators in the Holocaust. That the students have this courage inspires me and that the University of Cologne offers them this space is progressive. I thank the people of Yad Vashem for their presence in this currently troubled time and also in the context of our common commemoration of the Pokum Nights of 1938. And I bow before Lilian, the endured, the persecuted, the dead and the survivors of the Shoah. Thank you very much, Silke, for this moving statement. And thank you to bringing Lily Yan's story into our consciousness, as well as the fate of the victims of the Shoah, which is also a, a good transition to our next part. And I now want, want to introduce my colleague, Yona Kobo, uh, who is an online exhibitions coordinator from Yad Vashem's digital department. And she will now present an online exhibition about the November pogrom of 1938. Please, Yona. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, over the last 20 years, Yad Vashem has been expanding its global reach to include websites in eight languages, English, Hebrew, French, German, Spanish, 
Russian, Arabic, and Farsi. In addition, we are very active in numerous social media platforms where we share timely and relevant content from our websites. Yad Vashem online exhibitions explore a particular event, place, or topic in an informative and experiential context. Resources from Yad Vashem archives, databases, and collections are carefully integrated through the exhibition, thus infusing them with authentic content and meaning. The content is presented in this manner, engages the minds, hearts, and souls of the global audience that is interested in exploring this topic. We often create uh, content, content uh, surrounding important dates and events from the Holocaust. Uh, one such event is the November program. Uh, for years, Jews have been marking this program as a watershed event in the series of events that led up to the Holocaust. It was therefore befitting that Yad Vashem create an online exhibition that highlights the personal stories of the Jews who suffered on that fateful uh, night uh, between 9th and 10th of November in 1938. Now, 80 years later, we are able to recall the brutal blow suffered by the Jews uh, the physical violence, abuse, humiliation, the property damage, and the synagogue's desecration and destruction. And I would like to share with you one of the special stories from the exhibition, the story of Ludwig Meidner, a Jewish artist born in 1884 in Bernstadt, Germany. Uh, in 1935, Meidner relocated to work as an art teacher at the Jewish Yavne High School in Cologne. Uh, the story of Ludwig Meidner is a particular important today as uh, he experienced uh, whatever happened in uh, Cologne by himself. He was there and he um, created a, a draw in which he tells his uh, reaction to what he, he have been through. Uh, if you can see there, it's very hard maybe to see, but in the drawing, uh, he reacts to the November program he witnessed by himself. The inscription on the upper left side of the painting in, indicating the Hebrew date of the pogrom uh, constitute an iconographic reference to a very famous uh, painting by Rembrandt. The name of the painting is Belshazzar's Feast, based on a chapter in the biblical book of Daniel. A mysterious hand appears and inscribes letters upon the wall, which the prophet Daniel interprets as prediction of the imminent fall of the Babylonian king, Meidner creates a parallel between the burning of the synagogues in Germany to the destruction of the temple, thus expressing his hope for the end of the Third Reich in much the same way that the Babylonian empire collapsed. A few words about um, Meidner. After the November pogrom, he sent his only son to England via the kinder transport and then Minor and his wife followed uh, in August 1939. He was considered in England as an enemy alien and he was arrested and put in an internment camp in Britain. And he was there for almost two years. He was liberated or released from the camp in 1942, settled in London. His life there were very hard for him. He couldn't, uh, he missed Germany, the language, the culture, so he went back to Germany in 1953, where he could continue his diverse artistic work. Meidner passed away in 1966 in Darmstadt. 
it's only one story out of 10 in that online exhibition uh, telling the stories, the personal stories of Jews that have been through that terrible night or a few days in November 1939. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jonah, for your presentation, which stresses once more the importance to focus on the individual fates of the persecuted Jews. We will now conclude this ceremony. I thank you, everybody, for participating in this significant event. Our team in Yad Vashem is certainly looking forward to putting this agreement into action together with you. A big thank you goes out to our colleagues from the University of Cologne and from Yad Vashem who accompanied the entire process of our cooperation from the beginning and who are part of organizing this event. A big thank you goes out to all of you for the dedication that you showed towards this joint project. I wish you the best of health during these difficult times, hoping that we shall see each other soon in person whether it might be in Cologne or in Jerusalem. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>